So we've, we've blown, blown it out to the breeze. We've washed down the fins. It's kind of an overview of what the air conditioner looks like and what's going on. And now Mike is back here <coughs> blowing all the water out, uh, getting rid of the water. People ask, was the water get down into the coat? And it does, as you can see why, you see it here, it has that lip around it, right, right, right here, the lip around it that holds the water that and it weeps out. There's, there's holes in that where it, it weeps out and goes into on top of the coat. And the other condensation is built up again. The condensation pump right there, it goes through the hose and it goes out the back of the coat. But this is why this just, uh, you see right here, kind of like green mold. Um, plus important to keep the roof clean, keep these clean. That drips out right there, and it can, we see it where it's just green all the way around it. So, with the moisture and different things, you can do that. So he's blown out the water, and if they're really dirty, we would wash it again, but this one's in pretty good shape, so it's not it's not a big deal. Um, again, if they're, if they're extremely dirty, we can go through the wash process and the blowout process again. So, let me, oh, my hold on a second, let me pick it up a little bit. I want you to note here, you see this right here, and a little hook, make sure that you, the cover goes on the outside of that, because you can get it inside, and it'll blow off going down the road, because all you've got is these little T-nuts holding it. So, make sure that the cover goes on the other side of that. And be careful when you put them on, Mike's done hundreds of these, so you can slide that back on the top. And you just have to work the cover around to get it back on. You want to be careful when you put it on not to damage the the, the, the coils in the back. So you can see, you just want to line up the holes. And again, we do a lot of these where somebody before has took this cover off and they, they've over tightened the the bolts or they stripped them out and if the bolts are stripped out you can have a you have a mess on your hands so we try to make sure that we don't tighten them down too tight we actually i'm not going to show them this gun it, we use a dewalt gun but you can see here it's a 12 bolt gun and the reason we do that we use a 12 bolt gun on the toppers and on these air conditioners because they're not as powerful as the the, the 20 volt because you can strip these things out in a heartbeat uh, again, Mike's done so many of these, he just puts it on there real easy. Sometimes it's not as easy to line those up, so you just make sure <clears throat> that you get them in there in your washers. And if they don't have the washers, you want to put them on. Again, don't over tighten them. You want to get them straight. You don't want to you don't want to cross thread those. It's important to to do that. And he always double checks. See that it's on the front right there, and. Uh, it was a little bit messy from us walking, but most time you're gonna have a, a huge mess around this. So this is something that if you want to get done or if you're going to do, you wanna do it before you get the, the coach clean. Uh, it's, it's important to see that and do that. Again, I uh, have three of these on here. This is something that we do annually and, and it helps. We actually had a an engineer guy come through and did a, a mean test to the air coming out and the air going in and it helped it by about nine percent made it nine percent more efficient according to him anyway but uh, mm -hmm. this is something that we we offer here at precision rvfv and this is you can do this yourself or if you don't want to climb up here we'll take care of it and uh, this is just how the precision boys do it thank y'all